On March 9th, 2023, the alert level was simultaneously raised at two volcanoes from yellow to orange, which are a mere five miles apart from one another in Alaska. This occurred at both the Tanaga and Takawinga volcanoes due to a storm of more than 600 earthquakes in the last week, which seemingly got shallower over time. In addition, possible, albeit weak, ground deformation of about half an inch may have been detected two and a half miles south of Tanaga's highest point, and volcanic tremor was detected. In this case, the volcanic tremor likely indicated the movement of volcanic gases. With this being said, the possible ground deformation was based on noisy satellite data, so it could very well be incorrect. However, many of the largest earthquakes during the storm so far have occurred right above the site where the uplift center appears to be. With this being said, while hundreds of earthquakes occurred at the Tanaga and Takawinga volcanoes on March 8th, only about 60 have collectively occurred between the two volcanoes in the last 48 hours. In other words, the earthquake storm is most definitely decreasing, which could possibly indicate that the fracturing of rock due to a probable magmatic intrusion is essentially showing the beginning of its end, as many intrusions never reach the surface. And, many shallow intrusions stop at very shallow depths such as the magmatic intrusion at the Fagradolsviak volcano in Iceland in December of 2021, which traveled more than 10 miles vertically before stopping 3,000 feet short of the surface. While I cannot conclude that such a shallow magmatic intrusion at similar depths exists at Tanaga or Takawinga right now, it is a pretty safe bet that magma does exist somewhere at a depth of 4 to 6 kilometers in a zone between the two volcanoes. This magma chamber might be centered where the site of possible uplift appears to be, or it could be the center for the majority of earthquakes in the last 48 hours. Making all of this even potentially more confusing, these two volcanoes might even share a joint magma chamber at some level. This possibility is why the alert level was raised at both volcanoes as volcanic unrest on the island could result in an eruption at either one of or both of the volcanoes. However, I am not truly of the opinion that the magmatic intrusion is dead in its tracks as, in the last 72 hours, there has been a slight increase in the r same graph on Tanaga Island, which displays a sort of average seismic intensity over time. Volcanic unrest episodes can sometimes be long-term, where scattered episodes of unrest occur over the time span of several months, with numerous more quiet periods between them, before an eruption finally occurs, much like seen leading up to Mauna Loa's November to December 2022 eruption. This could be the case at Tanaga and Takawinga, although I must say that a volcanic eruption appears, in my opinion, less likely to occur than it did four days ago. And I can truthfully say that this episode of unrest with perhaps now as many as 600 earthquakes is stronger than prior earthquake storms such as what occurred in 2005 and 2014 at Tanaga. Not only did less earthquakes occur during those prior periods, but they were also lower magnitude, never involving a quake higher than magnitude 2.0 and occurring at greater depths than the current period. Interestingly, Tanaga may have very well erupted on October 17, 2005 as instrumentation recorded what was either a small phreatic eruption or a landslide. Thus, I suggest that an eruption at Tanaga and Takawinga is no longer seemingly imminent as the situation at the two volcanoes has changed. My prior prediction was based on data at the present, and much like assuming a basketball team blowing out their opponent in a halftime with a score of 58-26, to that somehow ended up losing the game after the team goes on a prolonged scoreless streak during the third period, I made an in-the-moment analysis which seemed likely to be correct at the time it was made. However, let us suppose that one of these two, or both of these volcanoes did suddenly erupt. What would be expected? Pause the video right now as I display a likely sequence of events. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Margaret G for becoming a new patron on this channel's Patreon page.